And go. Congratulations, Phil and Ashley. We're so excited that we got to be a part of your special day. We love you dearly, and we're so excited to see what you have going on in the future. Babies and, and dancing and conquering the world. Ashley, I'm so excited. I'm so happy for you. Um, you know, my my love for you as my firstborn is, um, is indescribable. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so happy that you found uh, the man of your dreams. I just wish you uh, the best. I'm sad that you live so far away, but I'm so happy that uh, we're sharing this moment here. It's been nine years, so I'm so excited, and I love you both. And finally, it's about time. Congratulations, Phil and Ashley. About time I got married. You know, well overdue. Um, happy for you guys. Um, hey, you guys should be working on a baby right now. A couple of them, so Uncle Carl can come play with them. It's been a pleasure and an honor to know you both, to see you um, continue to push through, to love each other, to grow beyond any and everything that um, could have uh, transpired or aspired, transpired in your relationship. So proud of you guys. Um, continue to be great to many more years of love, happiness, joy, peace, and togetherness. Yes. You're doing my speech, I'm done. Actually! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are beautiful together, and uh, I wish you a lifetime of love, happiness, and, and all things good. Blessings, and uh, it's about time. Cheers. Love you both a lot. Um, you're two both very special people to us. Have a great life together, and uh, many, many best wishes, and happy health and happiness. Oh, and one more thing it's about time. So let me be the 20th person to say it's about time you get married. And also, Phil, this one's for you specifically. I found out that you got engaged through the internet. When you guys get pregnant, let me find out first. So, we love you guys. And yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs>
Philip, 10 years ago today, you walked into my life. I had no idea that this life we have today would become a reality. I remember looking at you and all I wanted was to be yours and little did I know you felt the same. Phil, you are my rock, my best friend, and my lover. You're my shoulder to cry when things get rough or even when I'm just watching a Disney movie. You are my strength when I am weak, my motivator when I feel discouraged. You accept me at my worst and love me even more for my flaws and for that, you are a true definition of a man. I didn't really know what a soulmate was, but that is because you're not only my soulmate, you're my soul love. And I knew my entire essence was made for loving you. And with that being said, I love you for being generous, caring, ambitious, accepting, strong-willed, determined, hilarious, and oh so, so handsome. You have such a big heart and I love that about you. You spoil me endlessly and you give me the world without hesitation. And for that, you are amazing. Today, I promise to stand by your side, support you and be your biggest fan. I promise to try my hardest to turn off the lights if I'm not in the room. <laughs> and cook you your favorite crispy edge pancakes in the morning. I promise to make you laugh when you're low and to be your ground when you're unsteady. I can't wait to continue this life with you as husband and wife. I promise these things today, tomorrow, and forever. I'm the queen to your royal flesh, and I'm all in. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> all right, may I have the rings, please? Hands. By the authority vested in me by the state of Florida, it is my privilege and my honor to pronounce you husband and wife, and you may now kiss the bride.
maid of honor. She would love to say a few words. Woo! My name is Gabby. I am Ashley's partner in crime. And yes, cops are involved in this friendship. <laughs> Ashley and I have been best friends for the last 15 years except one day. Let me explain. Dating one was a bit rough as we were sitting across each other in disbelief that we had to sit together all day long. I really did not like you that day, but I sure have loved you these last 15 years. Aww. I brought toilet paper for that. <laughs> <laughs> Going back a few years at the age of 15, when we thought our lives were completely over, Ashley and I decided to hang out with a few friends from school in the middle of the night. Here we go. Oh boy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Parents are shaking now. Our perfect plan was to fill socks with toilet paper to make them look like feet, holding the pillows in forms of bodies to make them look like we were still sleeping. And off we went all the way to South Beach when we suddenly, and let's just say accidentally, backed into a cop car. <laughs> Next thing you know, we were suddenly surrounded by flashing blue lights and the driver in handcuffs due to a suspended license. <laughs> As our parents arrived to the scene, um, we made up our minds that it was a better idea to go to jail. <laughs> See, Ash? We thought it was over, but look at you, stunning and beautiful and moving forward to bigger and better chapters. They say things happen for a reason, and yes, we have learned that alarm systems, GPS <laughs> devices, <laughs> just so we can keep track of our children. Phil. <clears throat> look at you, man. Does he look so handsome? Thank you for loving my best friend. That is the best thing that anybody can do. It's just love her the way that I do, and you've done an amazing job. So oh, boy, go <laughs> <laughs> um, Not only have you gained an amazing life, but also an amazing little sister that will stick like glue for the rest of your life because I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so raise your glasses to this couple for their marriage and a blessing marriage. So she got the tattoo with me before she gets famous, famous. Stop it. No. So then when you disown me. <laughs> I'm not going to disown you. I feel like you're no. my match. Okay. What's your say? Faith. Faith and allows it to happen. Yes. And mine's love. And love always moves forward. That's yeah. right. She just but made that shit up. We're, no, I didn't. <laughs> I know I, I never really tell you how appreciative I am of you, but I, I'm going to tell you something, you know, I, I pay attention, I'm, I'm always paying attention, you know, this is, this is my guy, you know, I, I look out for him, you know, what about him? and you've been there for the hardest times in his life, you know, he had a major surgery, you were there, you know, his mom passed away, you were there. He decided on making the move from, from Miami all the way to California just to pursue his dream, knowing that it was going to be tough. And you were there. Not only that, but when Phil went out there, because of the bills, he had to work a full-time job. And he couldn't fully focus on working in, in the dance industry like he wanted to. And you took on three jobs. You helped him out. You believed in him. And he went. And he went and he quit the job. And, and, and he went full time into dance. And that's because of you. You were his backbone. You were there for him. And, and I appreciate you so much. You know, you, you're a very, very special woman. You've been there in bad times and the good times. You've been there all the time. And you stood by his side and, and you're a great, great woman. You know, and I, and I really thank you for that. I really do. A few days ago, he asked me, he goes, 15 years ago, would you have imagined being at the spot that we're in now? I never really got to answer him, 
we brought a few drinks. <laughs> but I'm going to ask you now. Fifteen years ago, for me to think that we would be in this spot right now, it was impossible. You see, we were raised in the hood. We were raised in poverty. We were raised with no father. We didn't even have a father figure. You know, we had our mothers, but our mothers had to work crazy amounts of hours. So they couldn't be there for us the way we wanted them to. And even then, they're women, so they wouldn't have been able to give us that type of advice like men should have. So what did we do? We went to the streets, and that's pretty much who raised us. But no, you overcame that, man. You one of the best damn choreographers in all the world. true and loyal fans. Not only that, but you got people in other countries that are begging for you to go there and teach in their classes. You made it, man. Career-wise, you made it. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something, fam. You're not only successful in your career, but you're successful in life. You see, you see the true values of life. You see the true meaning of life. You're a good person, bro. You're humble. Friendships, relationships, true love. You know what that means. You're a good person. You like to help others. You care about others. You really, really care about others. Yes, sir. You're there for people when they really need you. Okay? You understand the true meaning of happiness. All right? And I, I tell you, man, I'm so proud of you, bro. I'm so, so proud of you. Yes. And, and you know, to, to see this moment here, this is this is just so beautiful. And, and I tell you, man, you've been there for me, too. You, you're one of my, I mean, you are my best friend. You're, you're my brother, bro. And, and I got your back for life. And you know what? Ashley, Mary, Ashley, I got your back for life. <laughs> And one night, they're like, hey, come for dinner at, at Grandma's. And I'm like, hey, free dinner, free meal. I'm there. <laughs> so all of a sudden, yeah, I'm digging into my plate, my second helping. And all of a sudden, Ashley says like, okay, I got an announcer today. And you know her. She's not big on speaking. And all of a sudden, she says, I got an announcement. And her mom's like, you better not be pregnant. <laughs> and oh, grandma, my mom said that, said that, and I said, "Oh, you getting married?" And this, and I'm like, "Holy cow! I didn't see it coming." I was digging in on the meal. I'm, I'm cooking. And they said, "We decided we're moving to LA, not in three weeks, two weeks, but in like five days." And they went out there with nothing. And look at them both today. Come on now. Right? So, you know, as a family, we are so happy, so proud of Ashley finding, finding her true love. And uh, I tell you, I'm, I'm witness to true love here. And um, it's amazing to see them, to see the light, to see, uh, you know, Phil showed up the next time he showed up. And I just left my mom's and it was like 4.30 and there was like traffic. And he said, hey, meet me at Mom's. I'm like, damn, I just came from there. <laughs> but Phil, you know, he's all over the globe. So when he's texting me, I'm like, I better go there. So I went to Mom's, and I, I'm at the door, and she's like, what are you here for? You just left. And I'm like, Phil, text me. He's like, he's coming here. I'm like, OK. So Phil pulls up, and he comes in. He goes, hey, hey. And we're like, hey, how's Ashley? And. Uh, after we get past that, he goes, you know, we're coming up on our eighth year. And uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. You know, I love her. We've been together. We've been through this and that. And then he says, um, I'd like to ask Grandmama and Grandma and you, Uncle, your permission to marry Ashley. And in this day and time, I tell you what, that was amazing. The respect that this man had for me and my mom and my sister to do that was awesome.
incredible. And the first thing my mom said was like, no! <laughs> That's my girl! My baby girl! And I looked at Phil and I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you guys know that Ashley is like my little girl. And um, a little girl I never had, and I'm so proud. Hearing those vows and hearing her all growing up, man, is incredible. And thanks to God, and bless, and Phil, congratulations. You got my little girl there. And you know what my dad said, right? Oh. <laughs> He's cracking up. Oh, yeah. Real quick, last week, Phil pulls me over and says, you know, Ash was saying, Uncle, how come you didn't give Phil a hard time? I'm like, you know, he just had this aura, I'm, you know, and I deal with people all the time, and, you know, I'm like, he just felt good. He was he manners, and he was cordial, and he was respected, Ashley. You know, not like these other bums. <laughs> so he goes, you know what, when I met your dad for the first time, my dad is right here in the wheelchair. Yeah. And he suffered a severe stroke like four years ago. And he can't speak. But Phil told me, you know, when I met your dad, he grabbed me. And we, we had a little dinner for them going away. And um, before they went to LA, my dad and Phil goes, yeah, your dad, you know, he shook my hand real strong. My dad's Sicilian. And he goes, I'll break your effing legs. <laughs> My he smiled. And he got back eating the pasta. And Phil goes, oh damn. <laughs> That's my dad right there. But you know what? Um, congratulations to this beautiful couple. I truly believe that God bless Philip with just raw talent. Period. Talent of ultimate versatility. Philip hates it when I say the story, but I'm going to say it today because it's in front of all your friends and family and people you care about most. We were in elementary school. Like I said, I've known Philip since elementary. And I'm in the front row with a group of friends and it's at a talent show. And the MC comes to the mic and he says, next up, Philip Wright will be singing Who's Loving You by Michael Jackson. <laughs> now, me and the rest of the friends in the front, we treating this like the Apollo. We like, hey, I'm a Buddhist dude. I'm a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Philip got out there. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say that he was the spitting image of Michael Jackson. But what I can tell you is that by the time he was done, an entire cafeteria of adults jumped up on their feet and gave this little boy a standing ovation. I will say that. He was only in elementary school. And unless you've lived under a rock your whole lives, you know how hard of a song that is to sing. <laughs> My dude here saying. <laughs> And all throughout his life, whether it was singing, we didn't even know he could sing. And he continued to surprise us throughout life. Whether it was singing, being one of the best basketball basketball players in middle school, being one of the leaders of the drum line, dancing. A lot of people don't know this, but when Philip first started dancing, it wasn't what you see on YouTube. Uh, break dances were getting circles. And my dog would get in the middle of break dance. And once again, we were all just like, did you know you dance? <laughs> 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 and with hard work, dedication, and belief in himself, when other people didn't believe in him, he propelled himself all the way to a high rise in Aventura, Florida, which coincidentally, he bumped into this beautiful woman who sits beside him today. Yeah! <laughs> now when you're from where we from, Old Hoffa Square, New Hoffa Square, and the Ranger, etc., you know. Once you get to that point where you're at a high rise in Aventura, Florida, you're making good money, you got a beautiful woman, you're doing what you love to do. Most people, and you can attest to this, most people would just coast. Most people would just say, you know what, I made it in life. I'm done. But he wanted more. And I don't blame him. She wanted more as well. And once again, through hard work, dedication, and belief in himself, he propelled himself from Aventura, Florida, to a world-renowned choreographer who lives in California teaching thousands, hundreds of thousands of people across this great country, if not this world. Many people know your name. Yes, yes, yes. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> if I've never said this to you before, I apologize, but I will tell you today. 
I'm very, very proud of you. You are an inspiration to me, to everyone in this room, and hundreds if not thousands of people across this country, if not the world. Your list of accomplishments continue to grow. You have proven to yourself that if you put your heart and soul into anything, you will succeed. Now this is my challenge to you. Add Ashley and the sanctity of your marriage to your list of accomplishments. Put as much love, energy, time, effort, and above all, patience into your marriage as you have done everything else in life. I guarantee you will not fail, my brother. You will not fail. So with that said, Ashley, you are a beautiful, talented, and ambitious woman. A woman that truly embraces her culture, and that's a beautiful culture. I'm very envious of it. <laughs> and that's one of the beauties of marriage, is when two cultures come together. Can't wait to see what that produces, whether it be one, five, ten babies. Who knows? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. You know better than most all the stories about Phil, John, and I. Best friends, we've been through everything together. But today, he is no longer my best friend, John's best friend, or anyone's for that matter. He has become your best friend today. And vice versa. Uh, a German philosopher uh, by the name of Nietzsche once said, it is not a lack of love, but a lack of friendship that makes unhappy marriages. I mean, as a husband and wife, you're going to wear many hats. But above all, be each other's best friends, because no one will ever love you the way you love one another. Plain and after being committed to my beautiful wife for over 12 years, Come on, now. Let's go, my wife and my, my advice to you is very simple. No one, that includes me, anyone in this room, no one's happiness comes before you two. Make each other your number one priority. And I guarantee you, it will always, you will always succeed. Now we can always help, we can always advise, but ultimately, it's up to you to make your decision. Regardless of what happened in the past, there's a new book. Chapter one begins tonight. Hey. You write your story. Hey. May you never lie, cheat, or drink. <laughs> Doesn't it? But if you must lie, lie with each other. If you must cheat, cheat that. And if you must drink, drink with each and every single one of us because we all love you and wish you all nothing but love, health, and happiness of all you truly deserve. Cheers. Look at someone the way you two look at each other. <laughs> Smile. 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 And I'm going to end this <laughs> with Bill, if you ever hurt my sister, <laughs> Is it the look in your eyes, or is it this dancing juice?